Flexbox vs. Grid One is a free-spirited horse, the other is a train stuck on tracks. Which one should you use for Elementor? Let's break it down, fast. Flexbox is like stacking dominoes. It works in one direction, row or column. It's great for menus, buttons, and centering stuff, but it has limits. Grid is like a chessboard. It places elements in both directions, rows and columns, at the same time. Perfect for layouts, but a bit overkill for small stuff. Flexbox is stretchy, like a rubber band. If one section needs more space, it expands automatically. No weird gaps, no headache. Grid is like Tetris. It auto-fills available space with perfect alignment. No messy overlaps, just pixel-perfect layout magic. Use Flexbox when stacking elements in a line. Use Grid when you need complex layouts. And if you're smart, you'll use both together. I'll show you how to do it. First, add a grid container. Choose two rows like this. The first row will be our header. Look. Next, add a Flexbox container inside the second row. This will be the sidebar. I just added colors so you can see it better. Now, let's add a grid box inside that same Flexbox container. You know what the magic trick is, right? Since we're working with Flexbox, just change the direction to horizontal. Now, grab the grid, set the columns to 1, rows to 2. Into the first grid row, place another grid. And here set columns to 2, and rows to 1. Just pretend you understand. We creating two content areas right beside each other. Look, like this. Final step, add a footer to the second grid row. And boom, that's it! Who said you have to choose? Mix them! Who needs code when you have Elementor?